everybody, Pat Tracy here for, uh, would you spend a day with Tim Allen? Um, doing another DVD update video. Um, obviously you can tell Lex isn't here, I'm doing this one solo. So we'll see how it goes, you know. He'll probably be back for the next one, but, you know. Probably wondering why I got all this dead space over here, so I can show the movie a little bit, you know. Uh, adjust the camera a little bit. So, uh, I'll just get right into it. Uh, the first one we picked up was uh, the Batman Superman movie and then the Batman vs. Uh, Dracula. Now this one is a classic. I remember watching this as a kid. They'd always show it on Cartoon Network or whatever because uh, both the animated shows uh, were on. It's Tim Daly and uh, Kevin Conroy. And then this one I've never seen. I've watched every episode of the Batman. It's on Netflix so I watched it through but I've, I've never seen this movie. So I'll have to watch that one. Uh, the next one this is one my dad picked up, um, Beverly Hillbillies collection. It's five DVDs in here. Uh, I've never seen a case like this. It's weird uh, when you open them. It's just a blank disc. It's weird. But yeah, if you remember in our first uh, DVD collection video, we had that the small case of the Beverly Hillbillies. I just totally got rid of that one. Now that we have this, I figure there's no point. Alright, this next one, Into the Wild. This is a great movie. Great, great movie. Um, it's a true story of Christopher McCandless. He's the guy, uh, basically he goes to the uh, Alaskan wilderness to, uh, you know, live by himself in the woods, see how that goes. I don't want to tell you the ending, but it doesn't go so good. But a uh, great movie. I've been looking for this for a while, actually. And I just found it uh, at a store, Big Lots, for like three bucks. So, that was pretty cool. Uh, the next one, actually, Lex uh, picked up, uh, Jack Frost, the animated. I've actually never seen this. Don't know how. I've seen all the Christmas things, just never seen this one. Next, finally got Monsters vs. Aliens. I've only seen this once, and uh, I remember it as being pretty good. I know Seth Rogen's in it as uh, the blue guy. I think his name's Bob. Not sure, but uh, it was pretty good. I like that one. Next one I picked up here. Power Rangers Turbo, uh, it's volume one, there's I think another volume, because this only goes to episode uh, 23, but yeah, we have the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, these, they sell them at Big Lots for $5 each, so I'm going to have to go pick up more, they have volume two of this, they have In Space, both volumes, alright, the next one, hit classic from the 80s, Real Genius, Val Kilmer, I'm actually going to pick up the Blu-ray copy of this also, but uh, this was like four bucks on Amazon, and I haven't seen this movie in years. It's a great movie. If you haven't seen this one, check it out. I think it's really underrated. Nobody ever talks about it. So this next one, I was super surprised when I found this uh, at the store. Because on Amazon, it's it was listed at like 32 or $35 or something, which I, I just thought was ridiculous. And I happened to see it for $4.99, so I thought it was a steal. Uh, Saturday Night Live, The Best of Chris Farley. Now, I actually, we still have a VHS copy of this, um, just because I like watching it, and I've never seen the DVD version before. I'm so happy I picked this up. This guy is fucking hilarious. Uh, the next one, not, I feel like this one's really underrated, too. You never hear people talking about this when they talk kung fu movies, and I really don't enjoy kung fu movies very much, or the martial arts, or whatever you call them, but uh, I love this one, uh, Shaolin Soccer. This movie's hilarious. I've only seen this once, and it was years ago. But I always remember the old lady who, uh, when she runs really fast, her legs are like a fucking blur, and it's just her torso. It's hilarious. This next one is uh, it's a Disney Channel original movie. And this one is so good. I haven't seen it since I was a kid, but Smart House. Oh, if anyone remembers this, comment down, because this, this was my shit back in the day. The next one got Spy Kids all the time in the world. Now, I don't have any intention of watching this because it's, it's different kids and Jeremy Piven's in this and I didn't, I didn't know that. That's kind of weird. But uh, I just have no intention of seeing this one. I basically only picked it up because we have all the others. So, huh. Joel McHale's in it too. I like that guy. The next one. My dad picked up The Tooth Fairy by The Rock. I've actually never seen this. Uh, Lex quotes it all the time, the amnesia dust scene. I've never seen it. I'm not really a fan of The Rock, but 
this is a dumb movie, and I, I think I'll enjoy it. Uh, the Truman Show with Jim Carrey. This is a classic movie. It's one of his best, I think. Um, it's basically, he stars as Truman. It's a guy who his whole life has been videotaped and broadcast as a TV show. And he has no idea about this. And so the movie's basically him finding out. And then, you know, hilarity ensues. Uh, this next one is, I went to a Dollar Tree, and they actually had DVDs there for the first time in a while. Because um, they've been out for a little bit. But this one, it's the only one I picked up from Dollar Tree, and I've never even heard of it, but it looked kind of good, so. It's Walter. Never heard anything about this. Haven't watched it yet. But it's got a pretty good cast. Nev Campbell, Jim Gaffigan, William H. Macy. Some other people I'm not familiar with, but yeah, it looks pretty good. And now finally, the last movie, Where the Heart Is, with uh, Natalie Portman and Ashley Judd. This is another movie I haven't seen in years, and I don't know if I still like it, but uh, it was four bucks on Amazon, and basically, all I remember is Natalie Portman gets pregnant, and she lives in a Walmart, and she ends up giving birth in a Walmart, and falling in love with some guy. It's like a rom-com type thing. But, uh, yeah, that was a pretty quick video. Just wanted to get it up, because I'm rearranging the shelves a little bit, so I wanted to stack there and get this video out so I can put the DVDs away. But, uh, yeah, and I'll have to take a picture and put it in this video. I had to, uh, I used a bunch of wood we had in our garage. I had to make a new shelf for DVDs because, uh, running out of space with how, how many we're getting. Just like, subscribe, and comment down below if you'd spend a day with Tim Allen. Thanks, guys.